What's up guys, Alchem here back to another video and back to another reaction. So this is going to be more of a let's talk video because I've already seen this uh, review. So in case you guys don't know, IGN put out uh, the Street Fighter 6 review. And I got to say, it's a really, really good, in-depth, well-made review. And I know I had to make this video when I found myself watching the review for a second time. And it hit me, I'm like, yo, this is a really uh, good review. And also, it's a... It's a in-depth fighting game review for a game that isn't nether realm uh related like mortal kombat or injustice because uh, those are you know those games are pretty much like the big triple a fighting games um but i think street fighter 6 is uh this time around is a a triple a fighting game uh, with all the content uh overall quality uh, this game offers um uh, so yeah so in this video i'm going to be um discussing and giving my thoughts on everything being said uh, in this review um so i will be pausing quite a bit uh, if you guys uh you know are irritated by that i apologize if you guys want to see the original uh review i will link it uh, in the description so you guys can watch the review on your own time but i will be pausing and stopping uh in between everything just to give my thoughts and i just i felt that that um this video makes for a really really good conversation as well um so here we go. Uh, I have my earbuds in. Let's go on ahead. Remember when Street Fighter V came out and a lot of people were disappointed Mitchell Saltzman by its is a reviewer. lack of meat on its bones? Street Fighter VI is the polar opposite. Complete with an excellent 18 character roster of both. I already like that he touched fighters, on Street Fighter V not delivering content wise on launch. An ambitious online battle hub that puts all other fighting game lobbies to shame, and just about everything you could ever ask for when it comes to training tools and systems to help you get better at the genre. I agree. It's a spectacularly feature rich fighting game. Street it is Fighter a feature rich fighting game. swings in many different directions, and though not every blow connects, the ones that do are absolute knockouts. It's very important for fighting games to have uh, content in it to show you how to uh, play the game. The gameplay of every Street Fighter game since Street Fighter 2 can generally be defined by a unique mechanic. Street Fighter 3 had parries, 4 had focus attacks, 5 had the V system, and now Street Fighter 6 has the drive system. And for my money, it's the best the series has ever seen. It Every is. Character gains I agree. It is a good system. All right. So real quick, I already like the fact that um, he brought up the older games and how those games were defined by their uh, mechanics. Like Third Strike had the parry system, especially at the highest level. Very very important mechanic. Um, if you were really good at parrying stuff in Third Strike, it was going to make you that that much of a better player. Um, so I kind of like that he, he he touched on those games being defined by their mechanics. Street Fighter 3 had the parry. Street Fighter 4 had the focus, uh, which is very important in that game, especially for canceling, uh, FADC canceling. And Street Fighter 5 had its uh, V-Trigger. And Street Fighter 6, the drive system. And it is a very good system. So far, I think it's a very, very good um, system. It's got balance behind it as well. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's continue money it's the best the series has ever seen every character gains access to five powerful abilities that are all governed by their drive gauge overdrive special moves drive rush drive parry drive reversals and drive impact overdrives are essentially the new ex special moves and cost two bars drive rush allows you to quickly close the distance between you and your opponent at the cost of one bar or cancel out specific normal attacks at the cost of three bars. Drive reversals allows you to get an opponent off of you while you're blocking their attack at the cost of two bars. And drive impacts. Well, we'll get to this. <laughs> drive impact. I love the All right. So I like the fact that not only is he um, explaining the mechanics and how much stuff you can do. Um, I like the fact that he's discussing. Uh, how much resources things cost to do with this drive mechanic um i like that a lot pretty cool very very uh um good on him for paying uh, attention to detail like that and uh bring uh discussing that um i just felt like i needed to uh throw that out there real quick it's kind of cool that uh he brought up how much resources uh things cost um 
So this vid, this review is actually pretty educational as well, you know, because it explains like, oh, this I didn't know that cost this much. I didn't know this cost two bars. I didn't know this cost one bar. So it's kind of cool. This system for a lot of reasons, but chief among them is that it opens up so many options. And at the start of every round, you have a full meter and have access to all of them. There's no building you this do. meter up or worrying about the amount you'll have left over for the next round. I could start aggressively by using a drive rush right out of the gate to put on pressure. I could save my meter for overdrive special moves to increase the damage of my combos. Or I could fish for a crouching medium kick and then drive rush cancel it to convert big damage off of a single poke. Those are just a few of the options, and managing them makes the already extremely cerebral fighting of Street Fighter VI even more enjoyable. The way it's handled when you run out of drive meter is also excellent. Your character enters yeah, a like burnout state too. where you're completely okay, I'm gonna just stop it real quick. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Um, so, as he was saying, I do love the fact that in Street Fighter VI, you start off every round with full, full um, drive gauge. And if you want to um, start the round aggressive and use all your resources, you can do that. If you want to close out, um, you want if you want to save your resources for like towards the end of the round and do a big ass combo into like a, a, a level three super, you can do that. And the cool thing about it is that the next round you'll start uh, that round with all your um, resources. So it's kind of cool that you can pretty much have fun in each round. It's not like oh this is. You know, round one is going to be real fun because I had all these resources and I could do all this cool stuff. But the next round, I have to like wait and build that up again. You can actually start the next round with all your resources and, uh, you know, pretty much just enjoy and have fun with all the crazy mechanic stuff. So kind of cool. Uh, I do love that about Street Fighter 6 and I'm happy that he pointed that out as well. Cerebral fighting of Street Fighter 6 even more enjoyable. The way it's handled when you run out of drive meter is also excellent. Your character enters the like burnout that too. state where it's you're got risks, you know? able to use any drive meter related techniques. Your opponent's attacks become more advantageous on both block and hit. You take chip damage and drive impacts are even scarier than before. And I swear, we'll get to drive impacts in just <laughs> Drive a impact. Being in burnout is a There's multiple ways position, you can deal with drive from impact. An unwinnable situation. You still move at the same speed, your attacks do the same damage, you still have access to all of your super moves, and while your opponent's drive impacts are a huge threat, you know that they'll be looking to do them, which can lead to some interesting mind games on both sides. Some of the most tense and fun matches I've had in Street Fighter VI have been when I managed to pull out a victory even while in burnout. Now, let's talk about drive impacts, because I have a feeling that for a lot of people, whether or not they enjoy Street Fighter VI is largely going to come down to their feelings on this one move. Drive Impact only costs one bar of drive meter to use. It has super armor that can absorb up to two hits, and if it hits while your opponent is in the middle of their own attack, they will be knocked into a crumpled state, giving you a full combo. And that's not all. <laughs> Even if they block it, they get blown back and lose half a bar of drive meter. And if they get backed into the corner, that is a little bit. you get to follow it up with a combo. That's not all either. Remember how I said that it's even more scary when you're in burnout? Well, if you block a drive impact and you're close to the wall, you get stunned. And you'll eat a yeah, full, you get combo, you a full combo corner, even though you block their attack. All right. That's one of the things that kind of has people nervous about drive impact is that, one, if you throw it out and it's blocked, it's got pushback, so it's relatively uh, safe. And if you're near a wall, especially when you're in burnout state, you'll bounce against the wall and you'll be stunned and you have to eat a full combo after that. So drive uh, impact is a very, very strong mechanic. It does have weaknesses. You have multiple ways to deal with it. You can uh, throw out of it. So if somebody does it and you see it, uh, you can actually throw out of it in the first couple of frames. You can parry it if you if you uh, if you're if you have a good eye for it. You know, I would bait it out with like some jabs and then right at the last frame, I would like parry it to get a perfect parry. Uh, I'll practice that. I'm not, no, don't quote me on that. I have to practice that and see if it works. Um, but like I said, he, he touched on pretty much um, how good this mechanic um, is. Um, but there is multiple ways to deal with it. Um, so it's not like, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's one of the most powerful universal mechanics I've ever seen in a fighting game. And if you don't respect it, you will get crushed by it. And yet, I love driving packs because they're tuned so that they're just reactable enough to be defended against. Yep, I was just touching down, on that. But also still They're just reactable enough for you to defend against not. it. All you have to do is drive impact them right back. 
You'll absorb their attack, hit with yours, you can, and yeah, now the rules you can have been pretty much throw yours so out. You get the if you, if you see it, you can counter it with your own driving drive impact. impacts is just so incredibly satisfying, especially when it's the key to you turning the tables around and winning a tight round. New World Warriors. Street Fighter VI's roster of 18 characters is mostly familiar, with 12 returning characters and 6 being entirely new. But even the returning characters feel fresh thanks to new quirks added to their movesets. Ken's Command Run, for example, now changes up the properties of several of his special moves when he uses them out of it, giving them EX-like properties without having to spend drive meter on them. Kami can now charge her special moves and give them I like what he's balls. doing here. And uh, DJ has a ton of new things talk about it in that a make second. him an extremely tricky character to use and play against. The new blood, meanwhile, are some of the best additions Street Fighter has seen. Kimberly is a clear standout, with a ninja-inspired moveset that has her closing the distance with quick teleports, pile driving you into the ground with an Izuna drop like air throws. Alright, so he's touching on the new characters, but is a clear standout with a ninja, meanwhile that make him an extreme V trigger like qualities. And D Alright, so um I like the fact that he he pretty much is saying that there's new characters um brought into the game but um some of the old characters are back and not only are they back um they they're back with some differences so he touched on um how some of the older characters that were in previous games are back but they uh you, you know they're different you play them different they add, have added stuff so i kind of like the fact that uh, he touched on that because um, Street Fighter 6, um, like I said, it, it, it's a brand new, fresh feeling Street Fighter, and a lot of the uh, classic characters um, feel different as well. So, kind of cool that he uh, touched on that. DJ has a ton of new feints that make him an extremely tricky character to use and play against. The new blood, meanwhile, are some of the best additions Street Fighter has seen. She's so fun. Kimberly is a clear standout. With a Kimberly right now is uh, that has her closing the distance with quick teleports. My favorite right now. The with Out of the newer characters. Like throws, and mixing you up with tricky leaps from half a screen away. Jamie, meanwhile, is a drunken melee powerhouse who is able to buff himself Ooh, by Jamie. taking swings of his flask. That character is nuts, man. Four drinks, pretty much all of his moves become extremely dangerous. <laughs> he gave me the most trouble in the beta. Attacks that left me totally clueless on when it was actually my turn to fight back, forcing me basically to lab against him in training mode. Pretty much every Street Fighter character archetype has representation here. You've got your grapplers in Zangief and Manon, your rushdown fighters in Ken, Jamie, and Cami, your zoners with Guile, Dalsim, and JP, and your powerhouse bruisers in Marissa and Honda. It's everything I want out of a roster. I agree. I agree. Um, pretty much there's a character for everybody. Um, the game offers all types of archetypes. You got your zoner. You got your you got your zoning characters. You got your uh, rushdown characters, grapplers, etc. So it's kind of cool that he touched on that because um, very very important to touch on that because um, not a lot of people know like oh man what, what what do I gravitate towards? Do I gravitate towards a zoner? Do I gravitate towards a grappler? A rushdown character and that um that can kind of make or break a fighting game. Not having um, a character you relate to. And uh, that's when most uh, people go through like character identity crisis. <laughs> so it's kind of cool that uh, um, end of review that he pretty much brought up which characters um, do what. Like, uh, you know, you have Guile as his owner. You have uh, Marissa as your, you know, Marissa and uh, Yihanda as your like brawler characters, etc. So <laughs> here we go. World Tour is an right, I'm not gonna stop it here too much. The World Tour stuff, I'm not really interested in it. It's like an RPG story uh, mode. It's certainly the weakest. Not my thing. So I can't really, I can't really touch on this too much. It's a RPG that allows you to take a creative character into the world of Street Fighter, interacting with the playable roster by becoming their disciple and learning their moves and then building them up from scratch by leveling up, equipping various types of stat-altering gear, and selecting powerful skills. It also does a good job of teaching new players the fundamentals of Street Fighter VI by including lessons as side quests, with steadily increasing difficulty... Over this mode is very, very good to, uh, for, uh, However, like, RPGs casual, live and die by casual the stories, audience. And the story of teaches you to play the game as well. Unbelievably dull. 
with paper-thin characters, predictable plot twists, and a mute protagonist whose main purpose is just to be an errand boy for various gangs and factions. Yeah, when it comes to fighting games, I'm old school, man. Excited. Just give me a nice, it feels like it was written with the primary cool arcade mode jump around to various countries with some cool, to uh, interesting the character players. endings, and I'm and good. Yet, some cool art. it never to justify those trips. In one chapter, a random gangster all of a sudden tells me that I need to get her bag back that my buddy stole. And so, without any objection, the most reasonable okay, solution is for me quests. to make a global trip to Rome in order to fashion a counterfeit bag that I can hopefully use to fool the gangster into thinking I got her bag back. In another chapter, I had to go to Jamaica and Brazil because my original mentor, Luke, wanted souvenirs from those places and I guess just doesn't know how to shop online. At least the tone is goofy and fun, which is a great fit for Street Fighter. You can fight just about anyone on the street, regardless of whether they deserve a rising uppercut to the face or not. <laughs> that is funny, you just walk up somebody and just sure you can the hell out of them. Like the spinning bird kick to cross gaps like you're a human helicopter. And there's a surprising amount of enemy variety. Many of which oh, this will be a cool stage, man. Fighting in the inside of a subway car. Specific situations that will come up outside of story mode. Some enemies will favor blocking high, making them vulnerable to low attacks. Others will stay permanently in the air and must be brought down by anti-air techniques. And others still will try to hang back and pepper you with projectiles, forcing you to fight them like you would a zoner type character. And then you also fight refrigerators and Roombas. It's weird, <laughs> but in a very amusing Yakuza-esque kind of way. There's also a variety of fun mini games that do a great job of gamifying techniques that you would actually use in a It's It's very Yakuza like, one huh? Of them you have to chop bottles by I didn't even think about for that. Second, and then quickly moving World the stick Tour. in the opposite direction. It's a lot like Yakuza. Button, which is how you would perform charge type special moves on a character like Guile or Blanca. Another has you making pizza by quickly performing special move inputs as they appear on screen. And another still has you using your combos to quickly That's destroy cool. a big rig in a nod to the original car busting minigame from Street Fighter Busting 2. up a truck. The best thing about World Tour though, Pay no and the thing that really the, serves the, as the carrot the at the car end wrecking, uh, is the bonus stage in the classic Street Fighters. With moves from every other fighter. By the end of the campaign, I could use Dalsim's teleport to instantly appear behind an opponent, hit them with Zangief's spinning pile driver, and then use Ken's dragon lash kick to get right back up in their face. Being able to customize my character in ways that would make them absolutely broken in the real game, it's a lot of fun. The issue is that it takes forever to level up a character's style to the point where you learn new moves from them. You do this simply by using them, but even though I only used Luke's and Ken's throughout the entire mode, I still didn't max out either of them. Those who love a good grind may I would say that will be the appeal. The fact that you can or so hours it takes to incorporate the moves from like different characters. You can have like faster. Dawson's teleport with Zangief's uh, SPD. <laughs> by maxing out the ranks of each character. I have many more issues with World Tour, but even despite them, I still had a fun time with it by the end. It's a mode that's more directly aimed towards people without a lot of fighting game experience. And I think those people will get a ton more out of it than I did. Yeah. Agree. Like I said earlier, are great. The it's, way it's, it people that are fundamental lessons not super competitive or, or really big into like the competitive like uh, fighting side of, of Street Fighter, of they can come in here, have a good time, play the game, progress, of which have day and do, do fun moves. That each have their own set of side missions to discover. Casuals definitely get more out of it than uh than somebody Another like me or a, like want to go fighting game players you know what i'm saying you're able to take your character and all the gear that they've earned into the online battle hub which is an online i do like the battle hub i'm not gonna lie typically don't like hub worlds for um or pull up a cabinet much like you would in a local arcade i'll explain in a minute online lobbies are not a new thing in the world of fighting games and truthfully i've never been the biggest fan of them neither but have Fire i six's implementation of the battle hub has won me over for one, it's super cool to look at because Street Fighter VI's character creator is absolutely wild and gives you the freedom to make beautiful creations with finely tuned features or unspeakable monsters with out of this world bodily proportions. <laughs> Everybody's and doing that thin waist bullshit. Wander around the hub and see what people have come up with. There's also a lot of things to do beyond just parking at a cabinet and playing with either friends or random players. There's a section of the hub where you can play a rotating selection of classic I love Capcom that. arcade games. You can play like some classic Final arcade Fight, games Street by, by Capcom Another Final Fight. Where you can play extreme Super battles Street Fighter. Party -like rules and gimmicks. A store where you can purchase more customizable clothes for your avatar with in-game currency. And you can even pit your created character against others in avatar battles. Oh, that's I didn't know that. You can actually take your avatar character that you built up with all the moves and don't want to deal with it. 
you don't have to. and uh, you can actually uh, up for fight online with them. Via a menu, go into training mode while you wait, or create a custom room for multiple friends without ever having to go through the battle. It's hunt, optional, which is exactly how it should be. Love it. Having, go into training mode. While That's one thing I do love about the uh, the hub world of uh, Street Fighter Six uh, lobby is that it's it's optional. You don't have to like run around and look for matches. You can just go to the practice and uh wait for an opponent you know classic style and i love that while you wait or create a custom room for multiple friends without ever having to go through the battle hub which is exactly how it should be agree 100 percent what really pushes street fighter 6 over the edge is how it completely nails virtually everything outside of its main modes that you could ask for in a fighting game Based on my experience playing pre-launch and in all three betas, including the open beta, its netcode is excellent. It's Agreed. got the best training mode I've ever seen in a fighting game, complete with frame data, cancel window data, and a cancel ton of window other data. Mm. It's got extremely <laughs> helpful character guides. This guy definitely plays fighting games, man. Your character from scratch. Combo trials that teach you practical combos for a variety of situations. Load times are extremely quick and rematches are nearly instantaneous. You can search for replays with a ton of different filters to help you learn matchups. There's crossplay across Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. There's frame data important. when you're spectating. You can create. Oh shit, clubs. I did not know that. Hold on. PlayStation and PC. There's, There's frame, frame data, data when spectating. So if you're like spectating a match, you actually see like, you know, what attack is how much on hit and on block um which is pretty cool because as you're watching um other people play you're actually learning uh matchups in a sense because you uh, actually get the frame data uh with uh, everything that's going on that's actually pretty cool when you're spectating you can create and join clubs and the list just goes Should, on even, even i'm learning stuff uh with this review i didn't i had no idea that um that that was the case that you actually get um the frame data uh, while spectating matches that's pretty fucking cool and on many fighting games also have these features but very few have all of them and especially not right out of the gate street fighter 6 also deserves credit for really making an effort on welcoming newcomers in innovative ways on top of world tour mode there's also a new modern control scheme that allows you to play with that's gonna talk about the controls about specific command inputs or combo routes special moves are mapped to a button and a direction much like smash brothers there's one button each for light, medium, and heavy attacks. You can execute combos by holding down an assist button and mashing one of the three attack buttons. And you can use super moves just by pressing two buttons at the same time. The playing field is kept even by the fact that those using modern controls don't have access to a character's full repertoire of normal moves. But being able to perform special moves with just the press of a button is a trade-off that makes the modern control style appealing even for those who aren't beginners. And for those who just want to hold forward and mash on one button to execute special <laughs> moves and combos, there's also a new dynamic control scheme that's only usable offline and essentially. Okay, lets dynamic is only for forward. offline. Capcom's I actually didn't know that either. All their bases here. The verdict. Okay. So yeah, man. What I love about Street Fighter Six is that it offers everything, a little bit of everything for everybody. You know, it's very, very casual friendly. If if people that if non-fighting game players can't um, get at least somewhat good at this game or find find this game hard to get into, I don't know how much they can make fighting games easier and more straightforward to learn than Street Fighter VI. I don't I don't know. I don't know. You know how uh, that it, it can be done because the Street Fighter VI makes it incredibly easy to uh, get into. Um, especially with the control settings and uh, the uh, the training and the world tour mode. Like, there's so much stuff and ways to get into this game and, you know, learn and uh, have fun with it. Street Fighter games are always benchmark moments for the 2D fighting game genre. But Street Fighter VI feels extra special. The drive system is an incredible addition to the fighting mechanics that gives you a veritable Swiss army knife of options and meter management decisions right from the start. Of That's what I love. The meter Starting management decision the making in this game is through seen. the roof. Its online netcode through three betas has been impeccable so far. And the, the netcode is really good. Nails right out of the gate is unprecedented. 
It's so good that even the poor story and extremely slow progression of the single player world tour amounts to only a jab's worth of damage on its metaphorical health bar. Whether you're completely new to fighting games or are a seasoned vet, Street Fighter 6 is a must play. A 9. For more Street Alright. Alright, so there you guys have it, man. Um, this is a phenomenal review, right? Phenomenal review. Um, this guy went in deep on everything. He explained, I even learned a lot of stuff watching this video that I didn't know about before. So not only did he went into like the, uh, all the stuff that the game offers story-wise and, and, and mechanics and stuff like that, he went out of his way to explain everything and how everything works and how much everything costs uh, resource-wise in combat. Pretty good in-depth um, review. Very, he went into everything, the controls. Um, he went into how different um, the older characters are in this new Street Fighter game. Uh, you know, everything. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal review. Um, and there's some stuff that I learned as well, man. <laughs> I had no idea that the game uh, had the frame data during spectating mode, which is pretty cool. So I can actually learn matchups while I'm watching other people play. That is a real cool feature. <laughs> and um, he went into how training mode works everything man just a phenomenal in-depth review um for a fighting game and it in my opinion i think it's important um to have reviews like this because it it, it can help sell a fighting game to somebody that might not play fighting games so it's important to have um, reviews like this that go into everything because somebody that doesn't play fighting games can sit down and watch and go oh wow oh this has that oh really i can just change my controls and make the game a little easier to play hmm that's cool oh training mode offers this and I can learn that this that etc you know what I'm saying so it's very very important for um, fighting games to have in-depth review because fighting games is something that um, is very niche um, the fighting community is very very small and reviews like this that are in-depth can actually help sell fighting games to people who are kind of like interested in getting into fighting games, but they don't know how and you know or or what game they should get into i think street fighter 6 is a very very good um fighting game to get into for uh newcomers you know so yeah man i just wanted to make this video and give my thoughts and uh you know discuss some stuff with you guys um phenomenal review if you guys have not watched the review and um, want to watch it on your own time it will be linked in the description just go to IGN uh, if you want just uh, not even IGN you can just go to YouTube and just search Street Fighter 6 IGN review and it'll pop up um, so that's gonna be that this video is long enough just wanted to um, make this video and give my thoughts and uh, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this review phenomenal review very very uh, very important to have more reviews like this in the future IGN I know you guys are not watching um, but uh, fighting game players appreciate reviews like this one. So you guys did um, really, really good on this one. So with that being said, man, uh, please comment down below and uh, leave your thoughts on this video. Uh, like, the, uh, like the video and subscribe if you're feeling generous. Um, share as well. And uh, if you guys are content creators out there, um, feel free to make your own um, version of uh Street Fighter 6 review, you know. Um, let's let's um spread the word on the street, you know. <laughs> get that out there. Let's get people talking, man. Um, because uh this was really cool. Very, very good review. And uh again, important to have more reviews like this for fighting games to uh get people invested. So alright, that's enough of that. I'm getting a little too rambly. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below, like the video, subscribe, and share. My name is Super Outcome. Wish you guys mad love and peace. Like, comment, subscribe, stay up at ease. Peace out, y'all.